There we go. Come here, sucker. Come say hello to my little friend. I call him Buckshot for short. All right, guys. <laughs> Back again. We're we're just about out of meat. Uh, so when I say this time we're going to be evasive, I really mean it. <laughs> As best as we can, anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, keep in mind, too, this is not a max level uh, uh, Basilosaur, and it's it's not imprinted. So, yeah. <sighs> we, we, we need to make sure we have a high-level imprinted Bassy for this cave. I mean, if we're having this much trouble in this cave, I can't even imagine what the East Cave's going to be like. Guess we could eat these guys. Um... They won't give us red meat, but they'll give us something, I guess. So yeah, let's um, let's just see if we can, how far we can get by being evasive. Well, because I'm not gonna have another opportunity to heal this thing back up if we get into really bad trouble again. Um, I want to see something. I could potentially stand on its back and shoot into the water if I had to. Why is it showing me... I don't know. Okay, well, here. Let's get geared back up here. Okay. So, I see one shark. What level is it? It's only level 100 and it's by itself. I think we can handle this. Okay. Now, I see another... Is that a Megalodon or what is this? It's a Mosa. It's a level 180 Mosa. Damn. Okay, um, see the thing is, is the cavern roof ends right there, and then we have to swim through that little channel to get into the next chamber. Uh, all right, let's try something here. Let's, um, let's load this up. You know what, though, before we pick a fight with this thing, I actually want you turned around the other way. So we can go GTFO. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh shit. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Aim 10 miles above it to hit it. Jeez. So, the strategy again is to see if we can get it in the channel so I can get out on the other side and blast it with my shoddy. There we go. You know, I didn't bring my best crossbow down here because I didn't want to risk losing it. Now I kind of wished I would have because it's got a lot more oomph to it than this one does. Not that this is a bad one. It's, it's a pretty decent one overall. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. 
Whew. Okay. Um, do we get red meat off these guys? That would be good for the bass. Let me um, uh, get the pick out. No, just prime meat. Okay. Well, we'll just harvest them with the bassy then. Okay. Well, we're making a tiny, tiny bit of progress. <laughs> no, not much, though. We still haven't even made it into the other room yet. Well, at least I don't have to reheal the bassy again. Just okay, there's a whole bunch more megalodons. A forty, a two seventy, a two sixty, a two hundred. Oh jeez. Thirty, a two fifty, one sixty. Wow. Maybe um bunch of electrophorus too. Maybe what we do is get their attention and then just keep keep on with the same strategy that I'm currently doing. Pull them into the tunnel and then try and shotgun them. Because um, I don't think I can avoid these guys. Let's stay as high as we can and just see what happens here. Okay, the eels are coming. Let's get back all the way back this way so we don't pull everything. See, that's just the thing, too. This is just... I am uh, woefully underprepared for this cave. It just was it's so much harder than I remember it. Fortunately, these guys do little damage comparatively. Yeah, they <laughs> they barely touched us. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this crap here. And I still think we should keep doing damage on this bass because it doesn't have very high damage. Okay, so that didn't go terrible. Um, again, let's see if we can stay high and avoid some of the megs if possible. I don't know how possible it's going to be, but for them, as long as they don't catch us, you know, we, we could... We can pull them back. Oh shit, they're coming. Okay. There we go. Come here, sucker. Come and say hello to my little friend. I call him Buckshot for short. Okay. I s oh, he's right there. <laughs> I was going to say, there should be another one. He's right in front of me. Good. We're whittling them down a little bit at a time. All right. So that's the way forward, but I'm going to park the bassy in here. A 
few more eels to deal with. And kind of bring her right up over here. Okay, we are now going to go on foot for a bit, so let's get, I don't remember if there are actual, like, land, like, spider mobs in here or not. Oh, shit, <laughs> we don't have our freaking shotgun. Oh, jeez, okay. Um, well, let's just leave the shotgun on the basilosaur then. Um... All we have for weapons are crossbow and a sword. I don't even have a shield with me. It'll have to do. It will have to do. We got stimulant in case we get poisoned. We've got our stews, which we'll... Let's just go ahead and replenish those now. All right. We got a Nerva note, I think, or a Maylin. Go ahead and pause the screen if you guys want to read that. I'm going to get moving here just because at some point these uh, these monsters are going to repop. Okay, you stay there, Bass. Don't do anything I would do. And let's, let's hope there's no critters we have to fight through here. I just don't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, no, those are crystals. Okay. What's making that noise? Ah, oh, shit. You know what I didn't bring is... Uh, oh, man, I don't have any antidote with me. I don't know if there's bats in here or not. You've been webbed. Oh, jeez, that took a long time to kill just one frickin' spider. I got a drop. All that. There's our shark saddle right there. That'll make such a huge difference. All right, you know what? I'm running back and putting this on the bassy. Why I'm doing that? Because if we die, who knows if we'll ever get her out of here. <laughs> but I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. Oh, man, that'll make a huge difference, you guys. Sucker's expensive, but that's, that's to be expected. Okay, that was worth the price of admission for all the pain we've gone through so far. We just got to be able to get it out of here. I mean, seriously, if it looks like it's going to be a very high probability of death trying to get the artifact, I'll even leave the artifact behind. We always we always come back for that later. But that Megalodon blueprint saddle, it's exactly what we need for bringing our sharks in here. Oh. That sounds like a snail. Okay, here's the artifact room. Um, I don't see a lot of badness in here. Oh, there's, yeah, there's bats over there. Well, we got 73 healing tonic, so we can deal with the bats as needed. Tuso Tuth, this vampiris, is a very aggressive water predator. Right. Again, pause the screen if you want to read that, but Tuso we gotta get we gotta get moving. Is a terror of the deep. Once it grabs its prey, it slowly crushes it into submission while using the talons on its tentacles to siphon and drink the victim's blood. 
Tuso Tuyuthis is a terrifying opponent for several reasons. Firstly, its grab slowly renders its victim unconscious, so death isn't the only concern. Secondly, its vampiric blood drain instantly revitalizes it, even during combat. Finally, if Tuso Tuyuthis is losing the fight, it sprays a cloud of ink into the surrounding water, blinding its attackers to cover a sneaky escape. One of the major benefits of taming Tuso Tuyuthis is harvesting its ink. Unlike normal ink, Tuso Tuyuthis ink is very oily and can even be refined into fuels such as gasoline. Between that and Tuso Tuyuthis' distinct capability to grab and carry large creatures underwater, it makes for an excellent aquatic tame, despite its slower speed. All right, so we got a, a dung beetle there. There doesn't, at least so far, there doesn't appear to be a lot of land critters in here, which is good. I don't know what's making that noise. Sounds like a shark. Can't really see down into the water very well. One twenty mega. One seventy mega. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, I'm seriously prepared to leave the artifact and come back for another day just to get that blueprint saddle out of here. Um, yeah, you can't really see under the water very well. The artifact is kind of out in the middle of this pool, I think. Uh, okay. Let's, um... I think there's a red loot crate up that way. I wonder if we could use the grapple hook to to get to the artifact. Hmm. I mean it sucks to get all this way and then not get the artifact, but again, it's really not the priority right now. Here, let's, um, oh, wow, they made this pool, oh, shit, <laughs> look at all the monsters in here. They made this pool a lot deeper than it used to be, too. Hmm. Okay, so the artifact's right down there. I'm just wondering if there's any way we could possibly use a grappling hook to get to it. I mean, dive in the water, grab it, and then grapple back out quick before we get completely munched. I mean, I got some shit good armor on. Oh, man, are there jellies in here? Oh, shit. <laughs> that changes things. Hmm. We cannot... That's the one thing we cannot deal with by ourselves is jellyfish. Okay, well, let's see if we can get to that other loot crate. I'm assuming it's up there. We might get mega rabies, but we can... What in the hell? There's sharks in the wall over there. That's weird. All right. Um. All right, I'm just gonna have to suck these down until the rabies goes away. That's all we can do. I, th yeah, I, I was gonna actually bring. That is weird. 
I was going to bring some antidote in here too, and I spaced it off. Oh shit! Why am I moving so damn slow? Oh, this isn't good. Okay. Take a bunch of these real quick. Take another one. I don't want to get knocked out. Okay. Get the frick out of here. That's slowly going up. Um... Let's take another one of these. Does mega rabies make you go slow? I don't know why I was slowed down there for a while. Um, so I still have this red... Oh, you know what? That's just the torpor poison. Okay, so we're, we're, we don't have the rabies anymore. Okay. Our, our plan is to try and get over there. Ooh, I wonder if we could pull those spiders into the water. I have to aim a little higher than that. Look at that! <laughs> okay, that one's going to try and path down towards us. I wish the sharks would eat those guys. Can they can they climb up here? They are spiders after all. Sucks to be you guys. In fact, I'm not even gonna waste arrows on you. There's something stuck in the wall over there. The question is, is it going to unstick and get to us? We got our scorpion. Will they chase me in the water? I guess not. Right, you gotta hit him if you wanna be effective. They will chase me in the water. Bastards. You did. Okay. 
Okay, take some of these. Whew. Okay. Let's replenish our uh, this, because that actually gives us health regeneration. I hope those spiders don't break out of their, their little trap there. Got a bat. You you just behave yourself and don't aggro. We got two bats, not good. In the in the toolies. Is there not a There isn't even a loot crate up here. Oh yeah, it just it glows red because of the the cave. All right, well, I guess we didn't have any reason to come over here, but let's just get out of here. They stopped pursuing me. Okay, we have a decision to make. Do we try and go for the artifact? Or do we just leave it? Get out of here before the repops and get that extremely valuable Megalodon saddle blueprint out of the cave and come back and fight another day and take a poop. Common sense tells me GTFO and do it now. <laughs> but I, it's just, like I said, it kind of sucks that we came this far. All right. Let's do this. Let's switch to the grappling hook. There are a lot of sharks in here. Can I... I wonder if I can pull... all the sharks over this way. I mean, some of them are already... a lot... most of them are already over here. That guy could get us up here. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I know what I should do. I absolutely know what I should do. <sighs> okay, so the artifact is... I think it's... um. Yeah, those eels are a problem. I think it's down there-ish. Can we get a beat on it from me? With this. You bastards! Knock that shit off. Got a shark there. I'm just trying to see if I can... Well, oh, they can't hit me from up here. We could go down th there. 
But I, I think the artifact is, is by this, like, column-ish, but down, you know, lower, of course. Uh. All right. That hurts. Okay, hold on. Let's not do that. Uh, let's go over here. Can we see the artifact from up here? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So it's... It's near this pillar. Can we... Okay, we can, we can get to that pillar. I think... That eel's really going to be a problem. I wonder if we can kill it. We're running out of durability on our crossbow. Mm, yeah, that's that's really hard to do. So so what I could do, is grapple to the column. There's, there's just too much badness in the water is the problem. Um, we have very good armor on. We could, we could possibly make it work. Grapple to the column, jump off into the water, dive down, grab it. Grapple back up to the column to pull ourselves back out and then shoot back over here. Do I really want to do this? Let, let me think this through. Okay, let's say we die, and there's a very high chance we will. Our Basilosaur stays down here. Nothing will attack it until we enter the cave, but when, once we enter the cave, or more specifically that chamber... Everything's going to be repopped, and the bass is just going to get chomped, and we lose that badly needed ascendant blueprint for our next megalodon army. It's not worth it, you guys. It really isn't worth it. Let's get out of here. We will come back to fight another day, and when we're properly prepared, we'll be able to come in here multiple times and get that artifact. Today is not that day. Today is get... The Megalodon Saddle Blueprint Home. That's what we're doing. We just, we got to be practical about these things. <laughs> oh, man. The frick did you come from? Also, note to self, next time you come down here, bring about three times as many shotgun shells as you brought. Can't even see where the hell he's at. This is actually easier to do in third person. This sword. <sighs> okay. So even if so stuff has repopped, we're just we're just gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, get on you. Get the scuba gear on quick. Uh, the pants because it's gonna be cold. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, here comes the eels. Yeah, we oh goodness. We got repops. I had a really stupid thought for just a second there. 
where we could go into that chamber and draw all the monsters out of it. But we'd probably lose the Basilosaur if we did that. Because then I'd have to leave it, run back in there, grab the stuff. In the meantime, the bass is getting chowed down on. Or the monsters lose interest and they just go back in there <laughs> when I'm still in there. Okay. Well, under the circumstances, I think we made a good account of ourselves in here. Um, I want to go check. Sometimes there can be a, a loot crate in this other passage on the bottom, or at least used to be. Uh, I'm not seeing it though. Yeah, there's 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 repops. Let's just go. We're not sticking around. So yeah, the next time we come down here, we are gonna have. Uh, where the hell am I going? This way. We're gonna have a fully imprinted basilo and probably a male and a female for the mate boost. We're gonna have our next generation of mutated sharks with. 15,000 health and all those saddles. And yeah, I've got a ton of grinding to do, but it'll be worth it. Because those saddles will make all the difference in the world, plus another 5,000 health on top of that. And then we'll go in there and we will truly wreck the place and show it what for and get our hands on that artifact and the loot crates and all that. That is the plan. But boy, I'll tell you what. I know I've said this a million times already in this episode, but I was not expecting that cave to be that hard. <laughs> it was hard. Whew. Not even think about the East Cave right now. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.